Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to take a look at a couple of topics. First we'll explore how to quickly animate actor core characters in Unreal, and then we'll cover how you can retarget those same motions to custom rigs in UE5. To start off we're going to grab this free Reillusion actor core animation pack that can be found in the Unreal Marketplace and add it to our project in UE5. In UE5 we can then see the assets from the animation pack appear in the content folder. There are three folders for animation, two for dummy characters, and a separate folder for shaders as well. You can test out any of the animations and see how they apply to the relevant dummy characters. In the dummy folders for male and female, you'll find the actor core dummy character models along with an IK rig, and most importantly, an IK retargeter asset which can be used for bone mapping on characters with different skeletal rigs. In this first scenario, I'm going to import an actor core character from the actor core site into UE5 and simply apply one of these animations to it. Upon extracting the character, we'll have an FBX, JSON, and textures folder. If we have the auto setup plugin installed for UE5, then all we need to do here is click and drag those items into our newly created character folder. For more information on how to install auto setup, please refer to the dedicated tutorials on our Reallusing Courses page. I'm not too worried about shader quality here, so I'll just choose standard and select the male dummy rig we downloaded earlier as our skeleton. Be sure to click use time zero as reference pose and the other options can all remain default. We don't need to worry about the data table options here, so I'll just cancel that. From there, I can just double click on my newly imported model, which is automatically fully rigged and test any of the animations that we imported in as part of the free pack we downloaded earlier. Since the Abe Lincoln actor core character uses the Reillusion skeletal rig, the animations from that pack can be used directly with no need for retargeting. However, if you want to apply those motions to a character with a different rig, you'll need to do some retargeting. In this case, we're going to use this Kaya character from Mixamo, which here is imported in with its own specific rig. I'll start by right clicking in the character folder and creating an IK rig for Kaya here, choosing his skeletal mesh. In IK rig mode, we need to define the character's root bone and IK goals. To do this, I'll show the whole hierarchy and then click add new solver for full body IK. I'll then right click on the character's root bone and choose set root bone on selected solver. Following the same process, I'll also choose set retarget root. Next, you want to find the character's hand and foot bones, right click on them and select new IK goal one by one. These all need to be defined for proper IK retargeting. Next, you want to define the other character bones, so I'll start by selecting Add New Chain. This is a list of all the retargeting bone chains you will need to add. Add a new chain for each of these bones and name them appropriately, and select Skip Goal for now. Once you have all the required chains added, we can start defining the start and end bone for each chain. For the root bone, for example, you need to define RL underscore bone root as both the start and end bone for the root chain. The spine chain is a bit trickier, and here we need to define the base spine bone as our start in the chain, and the final spine 2 bone as the end bone. The head chain will start with the neck bone and end with the head top underscore end bone. Naming conventions are going to be a bit different depending on the rig you want to retarget to, but you can get a general idea here on which bones to define as start and end. Generally you'll want to start at the parent bones and then go down the hierarchy to find the final bone in that chain and define it as the end bone. Remember to click on save so you don't need to do it again. The next step is to go into the male dummy folder, duplicate the retargeter, and rename it for our Mixamo character. 
I'll then enter into the new retargeter and simply choose the IK rig we just defined as our target IK rig asset. This will automatically load up the Kaya character as another preview mesh. From there, we can test out the results for the various motions on the original mesh as well as the retargeted mesh for our Kaya character. We can also duplicate any of the previous animations we imported in and apply them to our Kaya character mesh now that we have the retargeting all set up. Simply find the animation that you want to use, right click to choose retarget animation asset and then duplicate and retarget animation asset. From here, we can choose the IK retargeter we created for the Kaya character and set the folder where we want the animation to be placed and click on retarget. I can then go to that folder and double click to preview the retargeted animation on the defined skeletal mesh. Naturally, it can also be put right into your scene for rendering later. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.